Well, I guess Bandai threw balance out the window. What do you think? What's going on guys, Talon back here, Minasan Konnichiwa Talon, and uh, today I want to do a bit of a discussion video, uh, balance, what, what, what do we all think about it? You know, no, I'm not, I'm not talking yoga balance here, I, I'm talking game balance, and this is, uh, this is going to be a very interesting topic, I kind of want to throw my thoughts out about this, I'm mostly considering the Doken right now at least, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts because... A lot of people have been talking about this. I've been talking about this with a lot of my friends who also play Doken. And uh, really starting to, really got me thinking today. I was on the train going to work today. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to talk about this. So I thought, okay, well, why not? Let's talk about this. And so I just want to kind of go uh, talk about the direction that Doken is going and how this is all being affected because of the new systems that are in play and the new cards that we've been getting over the past couple of months. And what it really means, is it good, is it bad? I'm not really sure. I don't have like some script uh, written up for this or anything. I'm just gonna go on off the top of my head right now. And so I wanna get your guys' thoughts and opinions. So leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, let's just get on this. So first, I wanna go back to when we had uh, year one coming around, okay? We all remember those days and we all wanted the big bad himself Gogeta. Yes, Gogeta was the card to have. He gave plus three key to everybody. The dude hit like a truck and he was the card. He was the god card. He was the essential card. You did not have him. Well, actually, you could still do okay because you could still get Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta Awaken. You could have Gohan Awaken Ultimate Form. Gotenks only gave you plus two key, but nonetheless, you bring in Gogeta Friend, you got plus five. So pretty good. It didn't really break the game. Yes, people claimed it did, but if you look back on it, it really didn't he just hit hard if you really played the game for a long time you could get other people that hit just as hard if you had got some guys essays up to 10 whether it was ultimate gohan full powered frieza any of those guys they could still do a lot of damage and the only reason gogeta was so popular was because a he was gogeta but b because of his passive allowing to bypass any of the uh types basically he could go against an agility type and still do uh, extreme damage to them essentially you know and by extreme damage I don't mean the actual extreme damage I just simply mean he could bypass the fact that they are agility and could do major damage as if he was a tech type essentially okay but nonetheless so Gogeta was the card to have but overall the game wasn't too broken I guess in terms of balance but then we get the god cards and what are the god cards well they are these guys you've got Vegito you've got Gotenks <coughs> You've got Buhan, you've got Shenron, and you've got Brawly. Yes, these guys changed the game as we knew it. It gave plus three key to one type, to whichever one you had, and it gave HP, attack, and defense up 70%. That HP is the important part too, because that is a huge deal. With just the double Gogeta lead, you only got maybe 6,800 health, maybe 70,000 if you were lucky. But with the God Leaders, you doubled that. A lot of people now, you'll see them and they'll have 140k to 150k depending on who you're running. That right there changed the dynamics of the game so much. Not to mention all the little quirks that were in with the characters as well. Vegito, you had the counter system. Brawly had a double super. And all of a sudden, you get all these passive skills and uh, super skills as well that are just changing the way the game goes. Now, they did change the way that the events are done so that you have higher difficulties and everything. But this left a lot of people salty. Very salty indeed because if you didn't pull them... How could you go about it? You can't really do the events, especially if you had really bad luck with summonings and you were trying to do this completely free to play without summonings. When Super Vegito first came out, and to my knowledge, I do not think there's a free to play team to go against him right now. You can't do that event. It requires tr uh, tr TUR cards to hurt him you know, pretty decently. So Ichigo, man. We need that video. I don't know where it is, man, but uh, I know you can do it, man. I believe in you. But anyway, so, but over time, they have slowly released uh, what I would call mini god cards. Uh, fat tanks and skinny tanks, they are mini gods of Brawly and Go tanks, essentially. Plus three keys, either physical or tech, and HP attack and defense up 20%. 
Hey, a free to play card? That's pretty cool. And with the new dupe system now, that guy, those guys can become even stronger, which is pretty good. So, you know, I, I figured this would happen. Down the road, they would start to slowly give us cards that would allow you to do that. And over time, we even got more. Uh, like right now in the shop, you can buy Great Saiyaman, Nappa, uh, Deborah, uh, Krillin, and I know, oh, Master Roshi. I think I hit everybody. That's five. But they give you HP, attack, and defense up 60%. So they are kind of like a semi-demi god cards. Now the demi god cards were guys like Kaioken Goku and Golden Frieza. I think those are the only two I have. I don't have Black. There's no Intel yet. And I don't have Cell because Cell just came out. So those were the cards. So, you know, over... This, was, this has been since July. So that's given a take five months, give or take. It's going to be six now. That's December. And so a lot of the stuff in this game has changed. And then just recently with, because of what Super had, spoilers, if you don't, if you haven't seen Super 66 or 67, I believe, at the episode or whatever, uh, if you haven't, I don't know why you haven't yet, but nonetheless, we got uh, Super Saiyan Rose and we got Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. And those were, in my opinion, actually pretty good. They didn't break the game by any means, although Rose is pretty powerful. Although if you watch that video I just put at the beginning, you know, I'm about to talk that in a second. Uh, but anyway, so they were basically hero types or villain type cards, or extreme cards or super cards, and it was HP, attack, and defense up uh, 50%, and key plus 3. Okay, pretty good. Not a rainbow leap, but that's fine. But now, all of a sudden, with the dupe system, we have gotten a lot of mechanics now that right now in the beginning are not that, you know, that you're not seeing them happen every single video. I mean, I don't even have hardly any of my guys have any of the big buffs or anything like that but a lot of people are starting to slowly get their characters up to where they have a chance to do things like additional attack uh critical hits dodging and all of that stuff i mean if i go into my where's my janimba if i go into my janimba i leveled him, him up specially because i wanted his defense up okay this is basically the defensive boost that you can get from the, the uh dupe system now if i go into the dupe system here and I'm on Omega here. If I wanted to, I could unlock this if I want to. I'm not going to. I'm saving the reds for my Gogeta because I unlocked all four trees of Vegito. Actually, I might. Just for the heck of it. You know what? I'm going to. There. Omega, level two on the defense now. He's very good blocker. He's a very good blocker, but nonetheless. But you have all of these trees. And if I was to ever get a dupe Omega, eventually, I could come out to this star out here. If this will let me click on it. Come on. Oh, I got to hold it down. Uh, not too impressive there. Let's see what else we got. Come on. There we go. Okay, that is a level plus three. Oops. That is a level three additional attack. Okay, now the way that the additional attack works is that you have a certain chance to do an additional attack. Just like it sounds like. The higher the level, the more of a chance to do it. And you have a chance of making that a super attack. You all saw the video that I showed about uh, my friend who posted about Super Saiyan Rose doing a double super attack against uh, Strength Cell. That was supposed to be Super Vegito's or Vegito Blue's main attack. That was his. That was his passive. That was unique to him. And now everyone can do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, well, if you just add it on to Super Vegito or Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, well, like, technically he could have a chance to do it three times potentially, maybe four, depending on how lucky you are. That's a very, very low chance, but nonetheless. But it's just like. Where are they going with this? Because they are... I, I, I love the dupe system. I am not trashing the dupe system. Do not get me wrong. I love the dupe system. I love that they're doing that. But a lot of people are starting to call like, well, what's the point in balance anymore now? Because I mean, yes, GBZ was always about the huge power-ups, being really powerful, and just smacking your enemy around like no tomorrow. But we always hear Bandai talk about balance in the game sometimes. I mean, the common area I always go back to if I can find him at least. Where'd you go, little buddy? Where are you? Physical, physical, physical go tanks. Let's all go back to, what was it? August time, give or take? Maybe September if my time's off a little bit. Go tanks, Super Saiyan 3 comes out. We all expected it. We we're all like, okay, Super Saiyan 3 go tanks is gonna be the god leader. That means a bunch of go tanks are gonna doke an awaken right now, right? They're due for an awaken, they're due for an upgrade. Everyone wanted this card to Doken Awaken. He is the best Super Saiyan Gotenks out of all of them. I do not care what any of you say. 
He has amazing base stats. He seals supers. He hits hard. And his passive is like 80%, 77% or something like that. 77% uh, for his super going up. And Bandai said, or, you know, what people are probably speculating, unless you actually were able to talk to the Japanese creators over here. I don't have connections to them, so I can't go and talk to them. They said... You know, or what a lot of people speculated, it would break the balance of the game. You'd have a TUR, which we don't have yet, that can seal supers, do, you know, if they upped his passive even to 80 or 90%, that is reaching the levels of Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And a lot of people probably would not have pulled on the Gotenks banner because the Gotenks Super Saiyan 3, yes, his leader skill is great, but his passive was only 120% for the super attack. So it's kind of like, well, if you pulled him, you're not gonna, you're probably not gonna be wanting to pull as many characters, you know. Like I said, this is a little bit of speculation, but nonetheless, if Bandai is throwing balance out the window at this point, why didn't we get a Doken Awaken for this guy? Why didn't we get a Doken Awaken for a lot of other cards? So it it just confuses me a little bit because they say they want to keep balance in a game which is not multiplayer at all this is all on your phone slash a mobile device computer technically if you are playing on the computer but nonetheless you can't do anything else like there is no you know player versus player there is no real-time battles technically you have the world tournament but that's just going against someone else's deck that is fighting on a computer-based system there's no there's no multiplayer to this so it really makes me scratch my head sometimes and wondering why would they want to say keep balance in a game but then give us something like the dupe system and show super saiyan rose who is really powerful i mean his passive gives plus three key to all villain types and his own attack goes up 100 percent every single time and now he can do a double super attack suddenly gotenks here just looks like well eh I mean, yeah, he's still super great. I mean, Gotenks is great on a mono-physical team, but yeah, compared to that. So it really makes me wonder, like, uh, is this is all this planned out in the future, or are they kind of just playing this by ear? Because you have to know, Bandai knew about Rose and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito way before the episode came out. Come on, they're business. They're going to know about this stuff way in the long run. They have to be able to make the content and put it onto the device and everything. So if they knew about it beforehand, why not allow this guy to doken? Why not allow another character to doken or something like that? What What is the cost here? So I really don't know personally myself. I mean, personally, I love the whole big powerful characters and everything. I love the dupe system, but you know, a lot of people are going like, well, what's the point of balance anymore? So let me know what you guys think. I mean, do, do we just accept it? Do we, I mean, we basically have to. I mean, there's no, this game's just gonna continue the way, whatever way it's going. We're supposedly supposed to be getting harder difficulties, which I guess because of the dupe system will bring us harder difficulties, which will then, you know, make sense. If you use the dupe system properly, you're gonna be able to take down these events easier. But it's almost just like, is, is Bandai's basically contradicting themselves. And so I, I really don't know where to end this video. I guess I kind of stop around here. I've kind of laid out the groundwork for everything, but I want you guys to start laying the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think we need to keep balance in this game, whatever balance it might be? Or do you like the way that the direction is going? I mean, like I said before, I love the dupe system, but it just makes me wonder, like they kept saying in the past, balance, balance, balance. Oh, but we're going to throw this dupe system in now that basically just threw balance out the window. So I don't know. It's it's just interesting. It, like I said before, the whole point of this video was just to, you know, I was talking with some friends. I saw people posting on Twitter and everything. I was just like, you know, people do raise a good point. I mean, some people with the black band or the black video that you just saw there were saying like, this should not be allowed, but it's kind of just like, well, the dupe system allows it to and you have super saiyan blue vegeto who you know it just says tokidoki on his passive ability but nonetheless testing a lot of people this i mean just wait for the videos i've seen videos for gogeta and i've seen it for super saiyan blue or super saiyan rose for doing double supers i'm i'm just waiting for you know buhan to do or sorry i've also seen buhan so technically i've seen three now so yeah i don't know where where this is gonna take the game so I'm, I'm just gonna end the video here guys i really don't know how to end it unfortunately i'm sorry but 
yeah, just let me know that in the comments below. Do you think balance is something that they need to bring back a little bit? Do you think not? I mean, in terms of when you look at something like free to play in this balancing, this dupe system does allow <clears throat> these free to play cards, especially the strike, super strike cards, to start becoming those really powerful characters and everything. So that's great on the free to play side. And don't, don't get me wrong, they are probably going to start releasing more and more cards that are free to play or in the, you know, the guaranteed SSR banners and stuff like that, that are not the God cards, but they will have the abilities or maybe they'll doke in some old cards that allow you to do this. And, or when I say allow you to do this, allow you to buff everybody, HP attack and defense and key. We'll have to see. So who knows? Um, if you have not pulled on the uh, Arati ba ba banner, uh, that is this one right here. Her physical one just got a doke, and I just released a video about that just a few minutes ago. Check that out. If you do, if you pulled her, because the first three pulls here are guaranteed SSRs. There is not there are not. There's a small chance. There's a chance that you might not pull her, but I've seen a lot of people pull her over her other uh, like her agility and her strength version. If you pulled her, her doke form is key plus three, HP attack and defense up 30%. She is the rainbow semi god essentially. So yeah. You know, great card. If you don't can awaken her, her passive is crazy. Plus, you can farm her super. If you put it, if you start doing that into the dupe system, whoo, this girl's amazing. This girl's gonna be amazing. She's gonna be OP like no tomorrow, just like Rose and just like everybody else. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just have to see where everything goes. So, anyway, guys, I've rambled on enough. Leave your comments down below about what your thoughts are on the balance, the direction of the game, and everything, and just what your overall thoughts are on. You know, don't don't get into the whole thing of uh free to play versus you know paying to buy stones and everything i'm just talking about how the especially the dupe system but just how you know bandai has always claimed balance 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 essentially and now we're not really doing that and what does this really show in this, like the video i showed to the very beginning what does this really mean for the game what direction do you think the game is going to go so anyway leave your comments down below leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you are new and i'll try to reply as fast as i can but time differences i do have to sleep so there will be this time where i do not reply so sorry about that anyway guys that's gonna be it for the video and i'll see you in the next one minasan janet